Shannon Sharp and Keith Blacknick. Their ultimate goal, a festival for the fans, by the fans. It's a large gathering of, of fans that put this together. It was a, a large team effort. There was nothing, nothing really going on in the wintertime, but we wanted to hang out with our fans and our friends again. The organizers say they wanted a Comic-Con feeling to the Mets Fan Fest, complete with panel discussions, a Mr. Met appearance, games for the kids, and autograph sessions from former Met players Ed Cranepool and Ron Darling. I think the great thing about uh, Mets fans is uh, uh, their foundation is National League fans. Uh, they've grown into uh, uh, loving their team. And I think also, um, you know, they're in a, a town where the, uh, the New York Yankees are an iconic franchise. I think it's pretty easy uh, to, to change ranks and uh, go to an iconic franchise. But these people choose to love their Mets. And I think that's uh, something to be said about that, to tell you the truth. And I With opening day a little more than two months away, talks at the Queens Baseball Convention turning to what else? The upcoming season. Be good this year. Actually, I think the Mets are going to be okay. So I'm excited to have like some relevant Mets baseball. Mets fans forever optimists. Definitely. Organizers plan on making this an annual event to help out baseball fans struggling to make it through the long baseball-free winter. I mean, any reason in the middle of January to come here and pretend it's summer is is a win for us. I think. At City Field, Priya Desai, New York One. And that will do.